Thank you very much, sir. On behalf of all VITNs, I would like to assure you, sir, that we will work together for the upliftment of our nation. Thank you, sir. May I now invite our student friends to interact with this agency. I don't know how I am going to interact with the students. Students, only students. Only students should interact. Only students. Mr. Partiban, yeah. can you only, please? Only students, only few, few, only few. Ah. Good afternoon, sir. No, it's not heard. It's not heard. Your mic. Good afternoon, sir. Ah. I'm K. Vallikkannu. Studying. You keep the mic here. You keep the mic here. Ah. Yeah. I'm K. Vallikkannu. Studying hmm. third year B.Tech Biotechnology. Sir, my question is, has India got any risk of bio-warfare threats in the future? And is it necessary for India to develop bio-defense techniques? You seem to be a war lady. You are a war lady. <laughs> <laughs> now, but a very good question, but very question, good question. You see, it is like this, technology is a fantastic thing. You can fly an aircraft, no? The same technology, you can fly an aircraft, okay? Fight an aircraft. So it fights. One, one aircraft carries the people, passenger jet, another aircraft is a fighter aircraft, goes mark, put the bombs, okay? This is one. And then <coughs> you take uh, nuclear, <coughs> nuclear technology. You can take power generation, nuclear technology due to the power generation. It can add value uh, by, by irradiation. You can reinforce the seeds for higher production. It can thyroid treatment, you can use the radiation, nuclear technology. At the same time, you can make a nuclear bomb also. Okay. Nuclear. Scientists are innocent. You can use you can use a biochemical, biofertilizer you can make. The same fertilizer component, you can make a chemical, chemical weapon, chemical weapon. Similarly, bioscience, it takes a health, health care, biotechnology, you can, you can take health care, the same technology, you can use a bio-warfare also. And uh, so finally, it's a political decision. Uh, for example, India has decided, India has decided that we will not, chemical weapon we made, but we completely, we are in destroy. We decided the world body destruction and also we are one of the party to signature that we will not get involved in the bio-warfare activities. Okay? Did I answer your question? Yes, sir. But Thank you, sir. Okay. Next question, please. Okay, one more question I will take. Hello, sir. I am Pallayapan from Yantek Kakam. Sir, are we going in a... Where are you? Where are you? Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, you are there. Okay, okay, okay. Are we going in a right path to achieve vision of 2020? Uh, in what direction we youngsters should concentrate or contribute to achieve the vision of 2020? As a student, you are asking, is it not? Yes, sir. As a student. Okay, you can weigh three ways you can contribute. Number one, when you are a student, you must excel in your education. If you excel in your education, then whatever is good for the country, whatever you want to achieve, you can achieve in your profession. That's number one. Number two, when you are uh, here, you, you, can, you can make up your mind. Uh, some, uh, you can create a group in VIT. Make a create a group in VIT, 20, 30 engi the engineering students, groups, number of groups you form, and you say, oh, what I am going to do? Do I, am I going to seek employment, or am I going to the seeker of employment? You ask that question, okay? And then, you spread the information, let us be, let us become entrepreneurs. Let us, we will become, an enterprise will start we will make enterprises like that the second you can do. Third thing, you should be a good human being. How you can be a good, good human being? When you are going out, see the environment is kept uh, clean. You can plant trees, you can do, you can ensure your neighbors don't throw and uh, the cleanliness and the hygienic condition you can, these are the three things as a student you can do. Okay? 